and welcome back for a new video. This time we're gonna do a different video here because I'm about to claim a plot as I have done thousands of times but I, th I think it would be cool to actually record this because I got some I wouldn't I wouldn't say cool stuff but I got some some thing I've been working on and, and I kind of quit doing it because it wasn't really that special or something like that and I got like cannons I already did a video on so I th I thought that would be really cool to have and I don't have any OP cannons like 255 reverse left or whatever and stuff. I don't have that on, on my mine link, I have that on my private. Uh, but on mine link that's kind of where I test stuff and make sure that you work on, on your guys server because if it, knows, if it works on mine link then it probably will work on your server as well and that's uh, at least the experience I got. Um, so I will just gonna go around my plot before I clear it and uh, show you guys what we've done so far. Uh, right here, this uh, up here, let me actually put some speed on. Um, this is the floating bubble for wide region busters. Um, I did videos on and I actually recorded on here on, on mine link and this is basically all of them. Uh, yeah, I built all of them and then just showcased it on here on mine link and um, which is pretty pretty cool but that's not something really special here so let's try to go down here um, right here we have the um, automatic sand compression I made and I made that for um, i pretty sure it was a how to cannon um, why we made this which is pretty pretty cool of course it's gonna get stuck since there's no TNT moving it uh, further uh, but this is pretty cool as well. Um, right here we have a lot of TNT. And over here we have uh, 1.5 1. 1. or 1 second auto. And basically you click this button here and it, it will f compress everything as you see right there and then it goes fast. And this is the, um, this is right here is the only the hammer down. Uh, so if you're, if you're gonna need um, sand and scatter let me see if i can turn it off here and this is uh, i think this is a 60 stacker i'm not sure um you can actually go ahead and, and make sure all right so this one would be able to stack just about just around 60 um and of course we're gonna need some new sand compressions we're gonna need like four of these uh this one right now is not working i, I kind of quit this I, I did this for fun because uh, I'm a little bit bored uh, and I did make it stack and I did make it this far but then the sand compression couldn't keep up so I need more than one um, this one is one-sided I'm pretty sure but I would have tried something else but we I'm pretty sure I have a, a sand compression that can do that on this on, on this plot somewhere uh, but here's a one second auto and it's not really well it is basically you can easily do this yourself uh, just have them up in the up in the air, and uh, you'll be able to do exactly what I'm doing right here. Um, basically, uh, when it falls, it needs to be eight blocks away from each other. Um, this one right up here, this one right down here is eight blocks, and then you can control the timings down here for when it is eight blocks, and when it's exactly eight blocks from this block to this block down here, when the TNT falls, you you will have a you'll uh, have a 1 second auto or just around 1.2 or 1.3 seconds um, and you can move it up to move it up as far as you want actually if you can actually add some boosters here as well but that's gonna interfere with um, with the, the gravity of the TNT so basically what we're doing here is that whenever we, we press this button here the TNT falls um, it falls a certain a certain blocks per second and in between that we have an air gap of 8 and that means that when it lands it is going to compress it and fire it out and while the next one is 8 blocks above it and it's going to compress that so it, basically it's a, you can make it less than a, a 1 second to be honest I'm pretty sure that's possible I haven't worked too much on it because again uh, you need 4 sand compressors you need um, the power and the hammer to be up in the sky as well if you want to have a big scatter you need that up in the sky as well and stuff like that so it's not really a cannon it's more like a, an idea or a concept I don't know where I picked this concept up um, it's been a while this has been here for like a few months now haven't, haven't really worked on it um, 
over here we have I'm pretty sure this is just a 60 cent compression and this one here I'm pretty sure this was the cannon we made in how to cannon um, where we made this together I'm pretty sure I don't really remember uh, this looks like a, a 100 stack or 60 stack or something like that um, I know that from because we don't have the long uh, hammer down on this the sign here so it's probably um, the 60 stacker I don't really remember and here we have the sand compression for it and I'm pretty sure this was just a quick showcase of something on my videos or just a quick skeleton of what cannon it's going to be over there um, if you go a little bit further I don't think we have anything on this side here uh, I see some holes here uh, this here is um, the reverse hybrid and this is the reverse hybrid well we can go all the way up here um, from Y let me check here that's Y1 or Y2 we can go all the way up to Y69 and then you can actually go further but uh, you're gonna go into the other video about that this right here is the dollar that Zach owed me uh, Zach is one of my friends here and uh, he owed me a dollar and uh, this is the dollar I got I guess <laughs> And right here we have, um, I'm pretty sure this is the tunnel of 5 stacker that's blown up because there's no bedrock under it. Uh, but I'm pretty sure this is the the 5, t five stacker tunneler. And it goes through walls like very very easy. Uh, which is pretty pretty cool. You can see I already did all of them. Just put them up again. Uh, over here we have, what's this? Uh, I'm not even sure it works. Pretty sure this is one of the old. Yeah, it's, it's. Oh, it is actually working. But this is one. I'm pretty sure this. This is a five stack as well, right? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that was a small uh, design with the five stacker, and I didn't really feel like I want to make a small five stacker. I feel like I want to make a little, little bit bigger, a little bit more compact, uh, instead of this. But oh well. Uh, let's go further. I don't know what this is. Oh god, this is like a sand compression without a hammer. I just moved it up, I guess. This is a uh, 140, which is pretty cool. And this is all the auto cannons I I tested it here in my link to make sure it works. Um, this again, this is the this is the the floating barrels for wide or whatever. And well, here we have the region buster. The first region buster, 60 stacker region buster, is this one right here. Where I kind of turned the camera around like this for the video. And right here we have the cannon itself. Um, over here we have a two shot cannon uh, that can shoot two, two, two walls in one shot. And basically, what it is, it is uh, two hammer downs, of course. And for two hammer downs, I have two pistons pushing out in. Uh, um, pushing out in like yeah uh, two different times so that means that this inner one here is the first one to push and then it's gonna explode out and because this is one inner one is the first one is because if we pushed out this one first then this T, T right here would push over to this one it will fuck up so um, right now it's just hold it in place and then uh, this one here get no wait uh, this one gets shut out first and the next one gets shut out uh, very very fast in between each other and again this is ticked twice I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure this is ticked twice no this is ticked once because you can have two shots going off the same power or something like that it's been a while since I used this so I don't really know uh, but I do know this one goes off um, one tick after each other so that means that this one this one up here oh, this one up here goes off and then this one goes off right next to each other you have two ticks yeah you see here it has two two different ticks so that's uh, two different types of TNT with different delay in here it's gonna shoot the TNT over here and out um, the one shot is not here uh, again I'm not, I wasn't done with this one I'm not even sure it works um, let's go ahead and figure that out but this is one of the sand compressions just in a big style you might do um, but it doesn't seem to work properly and actually not at all um, but that might be something I could work on if I'm bored a little bit I like working on this 
Let's see the sand doesn't really go in at the same time, but it's it's definitely possible at some point if you just keep messing with it. Uh, I'm sure we can we can find a solution for this. Uh, but as you see, I did actually manage to go through some walls here at two at a time. Uh, but nothing really back here. And this here again, this is the normal 60 stacker and this is the region bust. Um, I don't think that I have that much more on this plot here. Pretty sure we reached the end of this time I cleared my plot. That's not really any big uh, cannons or actually funny cannons. So yeah, well maybe the one the one second auto here should could be fun to hang out with. Um, I forgot where it is. Uh, let me see if I can find it here. Oh, we're close now. Oh, there you are. This right here is the power. Uh, this is the hammer. And um, I already explained this once, but when you... Oh, yeah, okay, it was already out. Let's do that. So when you press it, see that it will fall down and then compress as soon as it hits. Or almost as soon as it hits. I mean, you can actually put it further up and actually get less than one second. Um, but let's try to put it auto here. You can quickly have a better look at it. You see that that's pretty cool. Uh, as you see, the booster for the hammer and um, the power here is of course a little bit like delayed, but one almost like one and a, one full and one tick. And you can of course delay or you can uh, remove some delay there, and you can make it even faster. Uh, so you can definitely make it a one second can. This is like 1.2. I'm pretty sure. Uh, pretty sure that's 1.2. Let's fire it up. You see. And the sand compression is not hard to do, you do have four, four of them. Uh, but that's one, two, three, four. Alright, so it's 1.2 or just, just around 1.2 uh, seconds, which is pretty, pretty cool for this cannon. Uh, I might work further on it, but again, we need somehow to compress it. Um, somehow. Which. I'm pretty sure I can do with some, you don't need it this far up either then if you do that, but it's not something I'm going to go into details with right now, since it's not really a working cannon, uh, it's basically just a concept, it's really nothing right now at this point, but if you put build more of these, you'll definitely have some sand going, and you can have this one going as well perfectly, uh, with one second, uh, you can definitely do that, I'm pretty sure it is still working actually. But again, the sand compression is nowhere close enough to being ready. Uh, we need some very fast ones, and we need double-sided pistons with a block out so you can one push it and stuff like that. So that can definitely be a lot of more improvements to this, and I might work on it in the future. But for now, I'm just gonna leave it as it is. Uh, but it's a really really cool cannon, and I don't know why it's not working here. Oh, that's because it did build up to the sand compression, which is not working. Uh, it's it's gonna get stuck and it's gonna be a mess. But I did manage to go through a few walls before the the sand compression fucked up. Actually, I'm even impressed that this is how much I got through without it fucking up. Uh, I'm pretty sure I had more delays though. Um, I don't really remember. Again, this is this is a, this is far back. Uh, but it it might be something I'll be working on uh, just to like have fun with it. And it's not really that big, if you can try to compress it a little bit more. Of course you're going to need 5 or 4 sand compressions, which is going to be a big difference. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's possible. Uh, you're going to have to sand come from the bottom here, uh, as well as the, as well as this uh, hammer and everything else actually. Uh, so you're going to be everything at the bedrock and then you can push it up with, uh, with boosters that is uh, overlapped, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but that's not gonna be now. Uh, that's gonna be something if I'm really, really bored or I have a friend uh, want to help me with this. It would be cool. But other than that, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna work on it too much. But uh, I don't think there's anything else besides that. Uh, we have a lot of uh, cannons already released, uh, which is which is not fun to look at. Uh, but I might do one more of these uh, plot shows before I clear, uh, and I guess that will be. 
that would be cool. Oh, let me see here. I guess that would be cool for you guys to watch. Um, but right now I'm gonna clear this so we have a new, new one uh, with nothing on. I do want to. I do what would be cool to have all this gone because I, you don't want it all the way down to bedwork. But oh well, I can't be asked to do that with world edit. But uh, all in all, that was a nice little tour around my plot before I clear it up for the next cannons that's coming up. Um, which I hope that you guys will enjoy as well. But if you enjoyed this video, here, remember to comment down below if you want to see more of this video every time I clear my plot. And it could be different cannons every single time, or different ideas and stuff like that, uh, that I will be working on, on my link. Of course, my private uh, server, I'm not going to showcase, but everything else is, is free to free to go here on my link. Uh, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And if you want to see more of these uh, plot clearing before I clear the plot, uh, remember to to like this video here and comment down below if you if you want to see more of these and as always subscribe to my channel but uh, i think that is just about it for this time guys uh, my name is sexto and uh, i'm out